y'all. Good, what is it? Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. Whatever it is in running way, greetings to you. Mm. Excuse me. My allergies is still kicking in and I got a little cold. I'm getting over a little cold. Okay, so boom. Let's talk about honey dip. If you know about me, you know about my honey dip series. Um, we got the Silk Potter Hose series, clothes that don't get fed series. We got the honey dip series. That was just a ratchet bitch. I got all types of series out. But today we're talking about um, honey dip. Um, how did I come up with the title? I'm not sure if y'all are familiar with the song. Um, I think it's called, it's, it's called Honey Dip by Jim Jones and I forgot who else. But um, listening to that verse, it just, I'm like, I need this as a title. So that's how I came up with Honey Dip, something short and simple. Um, and the storyline is basically a 19 year old girl named Honey Richardson. She works at a diner as a waitress and um, she strips just to pay for college. And um, she's working with these two other women, Vanity. I forgot the other girl name, but one of the sisters' name is Vanity. Um, and one of the sisters is jealous of her while the other one just, you know, she's like that motherly figure for Honey because Honey doesn't have parents. Um, soon after, you know, um, Honey's working at the strip club, she's basically saying like, hey, I'm, I, I don't even really want to strip, but I need, I need this money to pay for my schooling. And one, one, the sister that don't like her is just like, no, bitch, you gonna stay here. Once you in the game, you can't get out. This is so good. Mm. Let me pause on my story real quick. I have been sipping lately, trying to just unwind, release some tension, and just, just relax. And I'm telling you, I'll get in the hot tub. Get me some wine and just relax. Yesterday I had a mimosa. And today I got me a little, you know, Hawaiian punch with a little something, something in it. And it is so good. And it's sweet. Oh, my goodness. Mm. So, anyway, my, my camera looks blurry. I'm, I hope this video come out right. If not, I'm going to redo it. But, anyway, like I was saying, yeah, she like, once you in the game, you can't get out, bitch. Like, you know, gunning for her heart. Mind you, these women are, like, in their late 30s. Like, mid, like, yeah, mid, late 30s. And, like, honey's 19. But she's the baddest thing walking. Everybody wants her. But she ain't thinking about none of these niggas because she's just focused on college. You know, doing better for herself. Um, she soon runs into a guy named Guy Santos. He's well known. You know how in every hood, um, or whatever, it's just that well-known popular guy. That's, that's who Guy is. His name is Guy Santos. And, um, he has his eye on honey. But in Honey's mind, she's like, nah, you don't want me. You don't want me. You want what you, you know, what I got, to, you know, what you think I got to offer. And that's some ads because you see me stripping. That's her, that's her mentality. But, um, he's like, no, I really like you. And he gives her the world, the absolute world. Oh my gosh. Like he, she's, she quit stripping everything. Like he paid for her college, all that. But you know, when you in love or when, when bitches is jealous or whatever, when things are going good in your life, it's always some drama. Honey is going through hell and back once her and God get together. He got bitches come out the, coming out the woodworks. People from her past is coming out the woodworks. People who she thought was close to her is burning her something serious. It's just all hell breaks loose once her and Guy get together. But but Guy is not giving up on her. And Honey feels like in order to keep him safe, they need to break up. But he ain't he ain't for it. He ain't for it. He ain't for it at all. I wrote the book. Because um, a lot of people look at dancers or strippers or whatever you call them. A lot of people look at them as, oh, you're just shaking your ass for money. They never look at why they're doing that. You know, I, I respect everybody's hustle. You know what I'm saying? As long as you're getting it, I, I respect everybody's hustle because it's hard out here. It's very, very hard out here. You know what I'm saying? I'm an author and people think I'm rich. And little do they know, I've had so many up, ups and downs in my careers to where the, at one point I was getting thousands. And then at another point I was getting lunch money. So you do the math. But I wrote the book because people are so judgmental. And that's just how the world is. That's how people are trained, especially black people. Um, and they don't understand why somebody's doing something or do the things they do. And I wanted my Honey Dip series to be an eye opener to show people just because a female is stripping or a male is stripping. Because you know, a lot of people, there's male strippers out there or male dancers. Um, just because they're doing something that you may not would do. Um, or whatever the situation may be, don't mean you judge them. You're on the outside looking in. You never know that person's situation. So that was one of the main reasons why I wrote Honey Dip. Um, this is the paperback. This is, again, I'm using my old, uh, books. I had to cancel my order from Amazon and reorder. 
and hopefully my, my, my paperbacks come in this time. Because remember, in my past videos, I was stating that my books never came in. And my paperbacks that I'm getting now, well, that I'm waiting to come in now, it's my name, no logo, it's just my books independently under me. But this is the old cover. This is not the first cover. The very first cover of Honey Dip, oh my God, it was terrible. I mean, it was terrible. The model was not cute. Her, it, it was just bad. The second cover of Honey Dip, I liked it. I really, really did like it. Um, there was, was it a part three? It was a part three. And I think I used, the same cover was used on part three as well. But my, my covers now, um, I like them. Um, I really, I, I do like them. Um, I may get them changed because I want the title to really, I want the cover to really match the title. But these are the ones when I was at the other company. And I must admit that I really do like this cover because it really, it really brings out the title. It really brings up the title. I love it. You can see the stripper pole. You can see the um, dancer. And this looks like a jar of, of honey. I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, I love this cover. I love this. I love this cover. But Honey Dip is available in paperback. Um, this book actually has part one, two, and three in it. Um, <coughs> oh, excuse me. But when you get it on Amazon, not this, but when you order it on Amazon paperback, it's separate. So you get your individual book. Um, so yeah, that's why I wrote Honey Dip. That's how I came up with the title and, um, the storyline and things like that. There will be a Honey Dip Part 4. I don't know when, um, but there will be a Part 4. It's already in the works. I just don't know when I'm going to have the time to really sit down and focus on it because I'm doing a whole lot of other things. I'm working with Wahida. We have a lot of plans going on. I'm working with, um, Royalty Publishing House. I actually took a break from them. Um, so if you guys are looking for Married to a Gangster, this is a whole other video that I will discuss later. But if you're looking for Married to a Gangster Part 3, I'm actually taking a break from Royalty. Um, because of the loss of my mother, that's the only reason. They feel like I need time. I've been trying to force myself to push through, but um, they really realized that I needed time. And I respect them. They are wonderful people over there. Oh my God, the best publishing company that I've ever been with. Oh my gosh, absolutely love them. And if any ladies are um, that, that's watching this and you have a story in you that you want to tell, hit up Royalty Publishing House. Awesome people. Like, it's just amazing. Awesome people, awesome team. You will not regret it. Um, so this is like an eight-minute video kind of or whatever like that. I'm about to get some writing done. So I'm going to go ahead and stop it right now. Um, my next video will be... I don't know what my next video will be about. Because, um, well, I have to look at, I have so many books. I'm sorry, y'all. I have so many books, and I have to really, oh, A Prostitute's Confessions. That fast, I done thought, let's do A Prostitute's Confessions next video, because I, I have so many books, and, my, and I'm always working. I'm always working. Like, when I don't be on Facebook, I'm behind the scenes working and stuff. It's just, I stay busy. But yes, we can do A Prostitute's Confessions next video. You guys make sure to follow me on Instagram, Rez Johnson. Follow my, um, author Instagram, author Rez Johnson. Follow my business Instagram. Tilted underscore underscore crowns on Instagram. Uh, add me on Facebook and Marie Johnson. My social media will be put down here. I'll probably upload this video tonight. Yeah, I'll probably upload it tonight or whatever like that. But um, I hope y'all enjoy y'all day. Um, Mother's Day is coming up. <sighs> Cherish your mothers. You only get one. Um, this is so good. Oh my goodness. Let me. I gotta. Have, I gotta go ahead and cut this video off because I'm trying to enjoy myself and unwind. I had a wonderful day today. OMG, I love y'all. Thank y'all um, for supporting me. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And um, I just hope y'all have a blessed day. Make sure you have smiled at least once or made somebody else smile. Um, be at peace. Be positive. Clear your circle out. Don't be around no negative energy. It's better to be around people who talk about boss moves and, you know, ideas and things like that rather than talking about other people. You know what I'm saying? Get your circle together. You know, get your peace of mind back and get your happiness together. I love y'all. Thank you for the support and enjoy your day.